fryer chicken tenders. Hey y'all, we're making some chicken tenders in the air fryer. And let me just say this, we have a video on YouTube already that is pretty popular and the quality's terrible. I had just gotten an air fryer. I really hadn't learned a whole lot about them. And let me just say, I've come a long way, baby. So we're gonna get started on some chicken tenders that taste real good in the air fryer. Colored Valley Cooks where we cook, like Mama did. Mama didn't have an air fryer, but this Mama does. We're going to go ahead and season some flour before I touch my chicken. This is just a large breast. We're gonna cut it into tenders. So we're gonna use some flour. And I'm not making a whole bunch, so you can always uh, alter this recipe if you want to. This is just two thirds a cup. So you can double it if you're gonna make a bunch of them. We'll put in about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And paprika, you wanna use plenty of it. So we're gonna use almost a tablespoon. And then for onion powder, about a half teaspoon. And we're gonna mix that up good. And that's what we're gonna batter it with in just a minute. Because really we're not gonna use a lot of flour, we're just gonna dredge it in it. I'm gonna use breadcrumbs, panko, and that's what's gonna make it really crunchy for the air fryer. So like I said, we're barely gonna even put it in this flour. And I've got a half a stick of melted butter right here that we're gonna be using. You're gonna take a chicken breast and you're gonna want the pieces thin enough that they don't take forever to get done. So I'm gonna half it right down the middle. And then I'm gonna cut strips in it. And the key to making something in the air fryer is that it has plenty of oil on it already because there's no grease. And you can't fry something without grease, at least a little bit. And it'd be fit to eat. We've learned that the hard way on some things. Even french fries, if you make them homemade, you gotta toss them in some olive oil. So I'm just gonna take out my air fryer basket and we are going to start doing our thing with our chicken. And I really don't think that's gonna be enough breadcrumbs. It's gonna use a lot of breadcrumbs. I will tell you that. So make sure you get out plenty. And the first thing we're going to do is lay our chicken in this butter and toss it good. Get plenty of butter on it. Now the chicken is cold because I just took it out of the refrigerator and I really should have let it sit out for a few minutes. So you can already see that the butter is already trying to uh, harden on it which is really probably a good thing because it'll just make it more sticky for the flour. Okay, now we're gonna take each piece and we're going to lightly dredge it in the flour. I mean, not a whole lot, because you want it to be sticky enough for the bread crumbs to stick to it. So I press it into them. And you really gotta press them on with your fingers if you wanted to get it a nice and crunchy chicken tender. Most of the time when we make chicken in the air fryer, we make bone-in chicken. But it's good like this too. The least 
least you handle these, the better off you are because of the breadcrumbs. I'm just barely going to place them back in here and pick up my mess, and then we're going to put them in the air fryer. That's a really big one. All right, now I always spray my air fryer, even if it is a non-stick, you spray it. Let the smoke clear. Now I got a really big one. We're gonna put it right in the middle. And I prefer not to use tongs to do this because it'll pull some of the panko off. You need to do this gently. I wanna put one more in here. I think I can do this one. All right, and so we're going to gonna wipe my hands off, and I'm going to put this on fried chicken setting. Now I will let you see what temperature that is for my air fryer. This is a Kasori air fryer. Of course, you can get it on our website or in our Amazon store. We really love it. Um, I have used about three or four different kinds, and this is my favorite. I'm going to press the fried chicken. It's at 380 degrees at 25 minutes. Now, I'm not going to cook these for 25 minutes because they're boneless and skinless, okay? So, I'm going to set the timer for a different time, and I'm going to take it down to 15 and then ha at half time, we'll turn them over. You can hear them frying. And I'm gonna use this meat hook because you don't have to really touch much of the chicken. If you don't have one of these, it really saves your crust because a pair of tongs would just grab that and it just fall right off. And I'm going to flip this chicken, and then we're going to continue to cook it until it's nice and brown. We'll see how it looks in eight minutes. We may cook it a little longer. I want it to be pretty and brown. Here they are after 15 minutes. They look beautiful. I'm gonna put them in my tray, my platter for y'all, so y'all can see them. That's a really big one. I'm gonna put these baby ones in here first and lay these two pretty ones on the top. Now, I have had people complain about this recipe, although it is a delicious recipe. And you need to do what I told you to do and make sure that you press the panko onto them really well. Don't use tongs or all of it's going to fall off. And just follow the directions. Watch the tutorial. You're going to get it right. And you're going to love this recipe. Don't they look good? air fryer chicken tenders. I'm gonna sit them right here. I got my favorite dipping sauce. Since it's been so long since I made these, I'm curious to see how good they are. I know they're not as good as my fried chicken mares, but I bet they're really good. I'm gonna use the baby one first to get a bite. You can see they got plenty of crunch on them. It's really good. That's pretty good for boneless, skinless chicken in an air fryer. It really is. Y'all give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. If you just don't want to deep fry your chicken fingers and you want to use your air fryer, this is a great recipe for air fried chicken fingers. That really is yummy. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook.
like Mama did. Mama didn't have an air fryer, but this Mama does. Bye, y'all. Love ya.